Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see the difference between two problem solving methodologies in algorithm that is dynamic programming and greedy method. So the first one is dynamic programming and the second one is greedy method. So we will see the differences. So the first difference is which kind of problems we have to use this dynamic programming and this greedy method. So both are same. So that means both the cases, I mean both the approaches can be used to solve the optimization problems. So where the problem should have the optimal solution in such cases, we are going to use this dynamic programming or the greedy method. So, in order to solve the optimization problems, these two approaches will be used. So, it solves optimization problem. And here also the same thing. Solves optimization problem. So, optimization problem means getting the best solution, optimal solution. So, there will be a lot of solutions. So, among that lot of solutions, we have to select the best solution. That is called the optimization problem. And the second difference is also same. So, that means the complex problem will be divided into sub-problems. So, the second difference. Problem is divided into some problems coming to this one here also divided into <coughs> sub problems and see which kind of sub problems these are in dynamic programming, these subproblems depends on one to other. So there will be a dependency upon the subproblems. So that we usually we are calling it as overlapping subproblems. So there will be overlapping nature. So these subproblems are overlapping subproblems. Whereas green method, no overlapping will be there no overlapping. So that means here one subproblem will be depending upon other. That means if you want to solve one subproblem, it will take the result of another subproblem. And here there will be no overlapping. That means here the problem solving approach, the problem solving approach is Finding, finding feasible solutions and selecting optimal solution. Finally, we will be getting the optimal solution. But here, at each and every stage, it will be selecting the optimal solution each and every stage. So, each stage, it selects optimal choice. Optimal choice. Rather finding the all the feasible solutions and finding the selecting the optimal solution, it will, it will be selecting the optimal choice at each and every stage. And here, so memorization will be there, that means the results will be stored in a memory. So, the results of subproblems, the results of subproblems will be stored in memory because as we are saying that this is a overlapping subproblems, if you want to solve one problem, 
it may require the result of another subproblem. So that's why in order to avoid the recomputation, so it will store all the results of subproblems in a memory. We usually call it as a memorization. And here, there is a no option of backtracking. No option of backtracking. So no, results will not be stored because there is no overlapping, right? So results will not be stored in a memory. And one more difference. So in order to apply this dynamic programming, we'll be using bottom-up approach. So it follows the bottom-up approach. And here, so it will be using the top-down approach. Top-down approach. And obviously, when compared to the dynamic programming, greedy method works fast. So it is slow when compared to greedy. When compared to greedy method, this will be slow. And when compared to dynamic programming, works fast. It works fast. Okay. And the next very important thing is, the last, the next important thing is, guaranteed of finding optimal solution. So, if you are using this dynamic programming approach, it is guaranteed that we will be getting the optimal solution. But here, no guarantee of getting optimal solution. There is no guarantee, right? Because here each and every stage we are getting this optimal choice. So there will be no guarantee of getting the optimal solution in greedy method. But dynamic programming definitely will be getting the optimal solution. Okay, but time taking, it's a time taking process because we are storing the complete results in the memory. So some memory will be required to store and retrieve the data. But here, results are not stored in the memory, right? So there is no concept of memorization. So that's why it will be very fast, but it will work with very slow. And some applications here, we can say it is 0-1 knapsack. One, one such kind of application which will be using dynamic programming is 0-1 knapsack problem. So that means... 0, 1 knapsack problem means these, this problem will be having to solve the non-divisible products. Non-divisible products. So we can't divide them, right? So this can be worked with fractional knapsack. Fractional knapsack. So fractional knapsack means for all the divisible products. Fractional knapsack means all the divisible products products. So these are the major differences among dynamic programming and greedy method. So only one thing here it goes with the memorization here there will be no memory. So that's why this works slow, this works fast and it follows the bottom up approach, it follows the top down approach and one major thing is there is there will be a guarantee of getting the optimal solution in dynamic programming. There will be no guarantee of getting the optimal solution in greedy method right so hope you understood so both will be working for solving the optimization problems that's the first and most important thing right so hope you understood uh, let's stop here if uh, if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much